G'day, and welcome to another Tech Tip Tuesday. Today's Tech Tip topic is about basic sensors. Which ones you do need and, uh, and which ones are handy to have? Your Haltech engine management system relies on certain sensors in order to run the engine. These include a trigger or reference sensor. This sensor tells the ECU how fast the engine is turning and possibly what angle the crankshaft is currently at a home or synchronization sensor. This tells the ECU exactly what position and what, which stroke each piston is up to. Sometimes a trigger and home sensor can actually be found in the one package which is attached to the camshaft or a distributor drive, making it look like one sensor, but it's actually two. The third sensor is a uh, manifold absolute pressure sensor or a MAP sensor. This is used to measure the amount of pressure, be it vacuum or boost pressure in the intake manifold. This sensor could be mounted directly on the intake manifold or remotely mounted with a vacuum hose. The vacuum hose would be connected to a nipple that's fitted after the throttle body, but before the intake valve, that air temperature sensor. This just lets the ECU know the temperature of the air entering the intake manifold. It's normally found close to the throttle body, either just before or just after. This position helps get the best representation of the air temperature without getting affected by any heat soak. Coolant temperature sensor. This one's pretty straightforward. It measures the temperature of the fluid in the cooling system, which is representative of the actual engine's temperature. The throttle position sensor. So this measures the throttle body blade angle and it's used to trigger things like a throttle pump or deceleration fueling conditions. So they sort of help improve fuel economy and throttle response. The manifold pressure, air temp and coolant temp sensors work together to give the ECU an accurate estimation of the charge air temperature. That being the temperature of the air entering the cylinder. With this information, the ECU can then determine the mass of the air entering the cylinder, then inject the right mass of fuel in order to achieve the right air fuel ratio. This is the core task of each of the said sensors, but individually, they also have separate tasks. You can map fuel and ignition corrections against the air and coolant temperature sensors. This can aid with cold starting, um, restarting once the engine's already warmed up, or adding a level of safety to the tune. You might want to add more fuel or retard ignition timing if the engine's getting hot, for example. The manifold pressure sensor, while primarily being used as an engine load sensor, is also used in the boost control function. This sensor allows us to request a specific boost pressure and let the ECU's boost control strategy chase after it. On the flip side, it can be also used to limit the boost pressure in the case of a waste skate or a, a failing hose. So they're the critical engine running sensors, but there are so many more that can be used for extra mapping functionality, engine protection, data logging, and to transmit to dash displays. Common, useful, and popular sensors include, but are definitely not limited to, wideband oxygen sensors, ethanol content analyzers, fuel pressure sensors, fuel flow sensors, uh, oil pressure sensors, oil temperature sensors, coolant pressure sensors, um, exhaust gas temperature sensors, uh, driven wheel speed sensors, drive shaft speed sensors, uh, turbine speed sensors, suspension travel sensors. Uh, look, I could go on, but you get the idea. If you want to map against, log or display something, I'm sure there's a sensor for it. I'll see you next Tuesday.